My name is Kaylee, and in this video I'm going to tell you all about the latest discovery in Ethiopia that proves that our ancient ancestor Homo erectus lived in the Ethiopian highlands two million years ago. Hominins, otherwise known as our ancient ancestors, have been found in large numbers in eastern and southern Africa. But up until now, they've not been found in the upland areas dating this far back. The lower jawbone, belonging to an infant, was discovered in Ethiopia back in 1981. It has been re-examined and proven to date back 2 million years. The jawbone was found at a site called Garba 4 in the Ethiopian highlands. Garba 4 is one of a cluster of sites known collectively as Melka Kunture. The jawbone had been identified as an early member of the Homo genus in the past. The Homo genus, of course, includes our own species of Homo sapiens and many now extinct species. But in the past, Archaeologists hadn't been able to confidently identify the species to which this jawbone belonged, which they now nicknamed Little Garba. The team of researchers that re-examined the jawbone used synchrotron imaging to study the teeth, which hadn't yet erupted from the jawbone. They then compared the shape of the teeth to those of multiple hominin species, as, you know, Teeth are a very good marker to determine to which species they belong. After they concluded their examination, the researchers can now say for sure that this jawbone indeed belonged to an early Homo erectus. Homo erectus that I have covered in the past on my channel. If you haven't seen that video yet, please click the card in the upper right corner or you can click the link in the description down below. So in 2021, a previous study that was published in the same year, the team also redated the Garba 4 site, which consists of layers of sediment laid over time. In the sediments, the researchers found traces of past shifts in Earth's magnetic field, which could be matched to similar records elsewhere. So based on all of this, they conclude that the jawbone of little Garba is 2 million years old. And this actually makes it one of the oldest Homo erectus fossils ever found. This might even suggest that Homo erectus evolved in the Ethiopian highlands and later on went down south to lower situated lands. This actually takes into question if Homo erectus even evolved at lower altitudes and made their way up towards the highlands, because it could possibly be that Homo erectus evolved in the highlands and later on went to live in lower altitudes. <sighs> My mind is blown. The researchers also re-examined the stone tools found in the sediment at Garba 4. And they say there is a transition from older and simpler older one stone tools to more sophisticated Acheulean tools between 2 and 1.95 million years ago. If you want to learn more about the invention, creation and evolution of stone tools, I highly recommend watching my video on the invention of stone tools. You can see the thumbnail on the screen. And the fact that the oldest stone tools actually predate all Homo species. Stone tools are 3.3 million years old, at least. So, like I said, you can see the thumbnail right here and you can click in the upper right corner to go directly to that video. The Acheulean tools were much harder to make compared to the older one stone tools, as Acheulean tools required more careful planning while creating them, but they also opened up a wider range of foods for the users to eat. Which, you know, kind of gives you the upper hand if you want to survive somewhere, anywhere. So the team argues that when all of this evidence is put together, the Homo erectus population here in the highlands of Ethiopia had to adapt to the conditions of the highlands and therefore they had to develop new styles of stone tools to be able to, you know, survive in this region. 
The Garba Force site is situated approximately 2,000 meters above sea level, which is something that, you know, I can't fathom living like seven to nine meters below sea level <laughs> myself. But, you know, 2,000 meters above sea level isn't so high that low oxygen levels would be a major challenge, but it would have been colder here compared to the lowlands in Africa. Although the lowlands at the time were mostly desert, so the highlands may have been more hospitable to Homo erectus. This highland area had more trees, more bushes, and most likely, therefore, more animals, which made it easier for Homo erectus to survive here compared to the lowlands. This also shows how adaptable Homo erectus truly was, as they were able to live in the conditions of the highlands, they showed that they were able to live in regions we did not think possible at that time. And living in the highlands may have also been good preparation for their later out of Africa ventures. As you know, some 200,000 years later, Homo erectus reached the Manisi in the country of Georgia. Yes, the country of Georgia, not the state in the United States of America, but the country of Georgia. You can Google it. And they reached the Manisi in Georgia 1.8 million years ago. And 500,000 years after they reached the island of Java, which you know, is situated in what is now known as the country of Indonesia. All the way on the other side of the globe. 1.3 million years ago, that's insane. So if Homo erectus was able to live in the colder region of the highlands in Ethiopia, they also could have adapted much better to the cooler regions away from the equator. It's incredibly fortunate that this team of archaeologists re-examined the jawbone that was discovered more than 40 years ago, as they are now rewriting the story of this young human child who lived 2 million years ago. Their work provides more evidence that even early in our evolutionary journey, our Homo ancestors weren't simply confined to the warm African lowlands, but instead they took advantages of a variety of diverse environments, which is a precursor of their ability to subsequently spread out across the prehistoric world. So yeah, Homo erectus might have actually evolved in the Ethiopian highlands. To me, that's just mind-blowing information because we didn't think that that was possible. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, and click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then, you know, click the card in the upper right corner or click one of the links in the description down below or click a video in the end card whatever floats your boat. I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me. I've been actually saving up the Patreon and um, membership income and I've actually been able to buy a new camera and you know I hope the quality is good for you and this camera came with a mic. We'll see how the quality is. The room is finished. I'm very happy and pleased. And yeah, this was my first video in 4K. I'm scared all y'all can see my pores and my ugliness. But yeah, I'm just gonna have to get over that. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. Thank you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.